I just stumbled upon something that is really cool and I'm super excited to share with you. The first SBSK video I ever filmed outside of the classroom. I actually didn't even know that this video existed anymore. I just happened to just luckily stumble upon it. Before I play this video, just give me a minute to explain the context of it so that you can fully grasp how cool this is. In the spring of 2015, SBSK was just a Facebook page and it was a vlog in my classroom. It started to go viral fall of 2015 and I started to receive all these emails from people who wanted me to interview them or their kid the same way I interview the students in my classroom. And at first I thought to myself, no, I can't do that. I don't have the skill set for that. I'm too awkward to do that. I'm not the guy for that job. And I just had anxiety about interviewing people I didn't know about doing something like that. It was so far out of my comfort zone, I couldn't even imagine me being a guy who does that. And I really, really want you to understand that I did not feel comfortable filming interviews at first. I had no background in it. I didn't know how to interview, how to edit. I didn't think like I was doing a good job. And the reason I want you to understand that is because I know a lot of people in the world have dreams, they have aspirations, but they might not act on those dreams because they have those same doubts that I had, that everybody has. But instead of focusing on those doubts, I said, you know what, the heck with it. Let's just give it a try and see what happens. And here we are, what, seven, eight years later, and these videos have been viewed across social media two billion times. And it's always so odd to me when I venture into the comment section of our videos and then I see people praising me because I know where I came from. I'm the biggest dork in the world and I still view myself as that 25 year old who didn't have the skill set to do what he does now. But back then I didn't focus on my deficits, I didn't focus on how far I had to come. Just the same exact standard I held for my students of learning one thing every day, getting a little bit better. That's what I've been doing the past seven, eight years, whatever it's been. And that's how we got into the point where we are. So I could ramble all day, I just love talking about this journey. But I'm going to play this video for you. I'm going to run it exactly how it went back in the day. And just know, when I filmed this, I didn't know what I was doing. I was nervous. I even think I say I was anxious during the video. But I did it. So if you have a goal, if you have a dream, you don't have to be the perfect, most confident person in the world to pursue it, whatever it is. Just give it a try. You never know what can come from humble beginnings. I hope you enjoy this video. It's a true blast from the past. It was published to Facebook when we only had 50,000 followers on there back in 2015 and never published to YouTube. So I have many more videos coming your way this year. Enjoy this trip down SBSK's history. Hey, so will you tell everybody a little bit about what you're doing today? Yesterday, I had a mother email me about her son who has Down syndrome and she asked if I could meet him, and she was willing to drive out here towards where I live. So I don't have any plans for the day, I'm going to meet him on the beach. And how are you feeling about it? A bit anxious, I always get anxious when I meet new people, but I think it'll be fun and I'm excited to see how the engagement goes. And, and you know, everyone's an individual, I don't know how he'll react, I don't know how I'll react, but I plan on just accepting the way he is, accepting him for who he is, and no matter what happens, I'll have a smile on my face. So my friend is going to be here any moment now, and I'm excited to see what the hell is going to go. I've never done anything like this before, and I'm just uh, exhilarated. I get to share it with everyone. When Kayla was born, you know, we didn't. We're talking about you, bud. Yeah, we didn't really know what you know. We we were uh, we had had some warning that there was going to be Down syndrome, but and then they did some more tests. And we thought everything was going to be was going to be fine. So that was kind of a, like a. A shock, you know. So there they are, off in the distance, walking towards us. Right there. My heart's racing a little bit. I'm very, very excited to see how this goes. I've never done anything like this before. I'm gonna hand the camera off to my girlfriend now and see what happens. Really, he progressed, he walked, you know, at almost a normal age, yeah. you know. He, he, he learned to read, he had to communicate.
about his future and didn't want to put any limits on how far or what he could accomplish and what he could do. And that's all we were, our goal was. It's a piece like this. Uh, I guess you don't think that's funny, but that's okay. We'll find out what you think is funny. About puberty time, he, um, he, had, a, he had an aide at school that um, it just, it was not a good fit. What do you want to do every day when you wake up? You like to go swimming? Yeah. I like to run. I'm not good at swimming though. Where do you go swimming? I go to the old ocean. That sounds like a lot of fun. He stayed awake all night long and was just tense and anxious and we said something is wrong. And it was from that moment for the next, we didn't realize how long the road was going to be. Would you like to play music with me? Yeah. I need a drummer if you, if you want to be my drummer, you can. I'll start playing if you feel like it, you can join in. Attention and sort of brought him out. Go. You can laugh at me. It's okay if you laugh at me. I'm really bad. Ready? <laughs> I'm sitting on the beach with my new friends. Having fun. Having fun. I'm sitting on the beach with my new friends. Having fun. Having fun. Now you got to sing. Go ahead. Where we are right now. We, a lot of people have lived their whole life, life the life of their child, like that. It's like how long well, has it been like that for you? It's been since well, he's uh, probably four or five years. Yeah, now. yeah. To where every day, in a sense of how do we get out of this? How do we get him? And you, you'll do anything. Yeah. Bounce the kiss. Put your arms together like this. For more, always pushing for more, wanting him to do more, and never satisfied him. Thank you. I see the camera off with me. Had a lot of fun meeting you. Perfect. It was, a, I had a great time getting to know you. It was fun. <laughs> Would you want to hang out again? Uh, yeah, I'm friend. You are my friend. Yeah, you're right. So, why did you like hanging out with me? You seem good. You seem good too. It was really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. 